sometimes God is testing you. Well, why would he test me, Apostle Jones? Because God says, if I'm going to work with you, you've got to be like me. If I'm going to work with you, I cannot walk with anybody who's not in agreement with me. If I'm going to work with you, you got to be like I am. I'm not coming to the place where you are. You got to come to the place where I am. Y'all don't want me to talk like that. Well, what is trouble? Trouble is illness, misfortune. Bills and financial hardship, marital and relational problems, circumstances with your children, unemployment, death, attacks from your friends, and fear of failure. I think I got the whole church there. Two revelations of illness. We got folk that are six physically. But we got some other folk that are sick spiritually. If I'm sick physically, most of the time I need a miracle healing or I need medication that will heal me over time. But when I'm sick spiritually, that means that I have something in my life that's not like God that is eating up and decaying my soul. Uh oh. Hold on, John. Look at the neighbor and say, which one are you? Which one are you? Which one are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm almost there. Misfortune. That means that you're not always going to have positive things happening in your life. Every once in a while, you're going to have to go through something. Every once in a while, you're going to have to deal with something. After every once in a while, God's going to put you in a position that's uncomfortable. He's going to put you in a position that you do not like to be in. But God will never put you in a position that he hasn't made a deposit in you to handle. Okay, I know y'all can't get with me. Well, let me preach anyhow, because I feel like preaching. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 10 and 13, it says, watch it, there have no temptation taken you, but watch it, such as is common to man. Push your neighbor and say, you ain't going through nothing everybody else don't have to deal with at some time in life. See, now let the devil whisper in your ear, telling you you all alone. Nobody know what I'm going through. Nobody know what I got to deal with. They, yeah, they don't know what I have to deal with. If they was dealing with what I was dealing with, they'll be acting like me. The devil is a lie because some of us are more mature than you. Some of us realize that if we see it, it's temporary. Some of us realize that God's going to get some glory out of our story. Some of us realize weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes. I can be serving God. I, I still can possibly get sick in my body. I still can possibly, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, y'all don't want me to preach. I still can possibly get sick in my spiritual walk. And, and, and some things gonna go on in my life. Even though I'm serving God, trouble still gonna knock at my door. Yeah. Yeah. The fact of the matter, the reason. God, I'm in trouble now. The reason he don't put on some of you what he put on some of us is because you don't have a deposit that could sustain you through it. That's why we got different stories because there's some stuff that you can't handle. There's some stuff that'll make you trip out. But listen, he said all of it is common to mankind. I got to go ahead and preach this thing now. See, after he goes on and say no temptation, uh, taking you, but such as is coming to man, he say, but, and but nullifies everything in front of him. He said, God is faithful. So what does that mean? That means I can rely on him. I can depend on him. I ain't got to worry about whether he's going to start acting funny or not. I might have to go through something, but God's going to be there for me. God's going to get me through it. God's going to heal me from it. Y'all don't want me to preach today. 
So, so, so watch this. Watch this. He's faithful who will not suffer you. That word suffer me, he will not allow you to be tempted above that you are able. Look at that sad, sad soul sitting next to you and tell him, baby, you ain't going through nothing that you ain't able to handle. So you need to come up out of your pity party. You need to come up out of that feeling sorry for yourself. You need to come up out of that woe me because somebody in here got the same testimony and you don't even know about it. Somebody in here dealing with the same thing and you don't even know about it because they handle it uniquely different from you. the enemy tell you because you're going through things, you're shameful and all of that stuff. You know such things, no shame with me. I wasn't shamed when I was in the world. Now when I got in the church, it got a little dignity. And a child bringing embarrassment on me. Well, you brought embarrassment on your mama. On your daddy. You done got dignified now. You put I don't like to say important, I like to say impotent. That means you still lack it. I'm gonna preach anyway, y'all. I, got, I, got I gotta walk my way through here. Can I walk my way through here? See, you got to know, you got to know that, that God still love you and even when your bills are due. Uh, some of y'all arguing and fighting over money, trying to wonder what it's with and trying to keep up with every penny. Uh, my God, you're worse than the accountant. You want to know what it's with and what that with and it's causing trouble and problems in your house because you still haven't learned how to handle finances. You still haven't learned that even though I ain't got nothing, tomorrow could be a different day. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. If God bless me once, he'll bless me twice. Don't you trip because the bill do. That's just a disconnect notice. It ain't disconnected yet. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm just a little bit 